Since Dice LA first implemented Infiltration of Shanghai, that's the, the night variant of Siege of Shanghai, into the CTE, people have been asking for more of those maps to go through this conversion. Well, as of Wednesday this week actually, we got that wish. Today you're looking at Golmud Railway at night, but what I'm sure you're really wondering is why I called the video Yeti of the Night. Well. See, if you can listen really closely to this video, I know the game audio is turned down, and if you wait really patiently, you might just be able to hear the distant moans of the Golmud Yeti. I'm unsure if someone kept activating this easter egg during the game that I was playing on this map, or whether it's been turned on in the recent update to make it sound all the way across the map. I'm not 100% sure, but it did make for some really eerie moments, because the first time I heard it, I was in the spawn screen, and I sort of highlighted my my player that I wanted to spawn on, but it was mixed in with like vehicle explosions, and I just thought it might be the sound of like a like a building collapsing or something like that. But when I came out of the spawn screen into the game, and the building had stopped falling over, I could still hear it moaning, and I knew what it was instantly. But I was unsure whether it was activated by a player or whether it's just on the server. It's not like it's a massive feature, but I just thought I'd point it out. And if you've been on the CTE this weekend and you've heard that sound as well, can you let me know in the comments? Because I have my headphones on and I never play games with my headphones on. I'm just one of those players that likes the open sound of speakers rather than rather than the enclosed design of a headphone. But because it was like 1am when I was playing on this map, I just thought I'd be a little bit more courteous to the people who are in this house and I put my headphones on. But I could hear so much more and that became really really important when playing on this map. I'll explain why in a minute. So, Golmud at night then, what is this all about? Well, it's totally different, and, and not different like Shanghai was, where you were still able to tell where you were on the map, you didn't get lost in the dark at all, but, but here, you can get very disorientated and very easily as well. And that is exactly what I wanted to happen with these night maps. If you've been playing Battlefield 4 since it was first launched, I don't know, uh, since October 2013, now a long time ago, then you'll be pretty familiar with the layout of most of the base game maps by now. And Golmud being one of the largest and more open maps, the layout isn't too difficult to memorise. But cover that map in moonlight and a navy blue sky that you see in this video, and it makes for a very, very different gameplay experience. So different, in fact, that you may even be able to mistake this for a brand new map. And this is what I think people really wanted from the night map project in the CTE. Not for them just to be dark, but, but to make them feel like a brand new map overall. New experiences, new strategies to be used. And I'll be honest, Golmud was never a favourite map of mine, but now it's right up there with maps like Propaganda and Hangar 21 from the two DLCs, Dragon's Teeth and Final Stand. I mean, those are probably, for me, the two best maps in the game. And now that Golmud's come in here with this massive open warfare in the dark as well, makes for a really cool experience and one that I'll definitely be playing when this map goes through into the vanilla game. But taking a step back here, the audio. I mentioned that I was wearing headphones while I was playing this round. It was so, so helpful. I don't tend to play with headphones on at all. I tend to just use the speakers and let them fire at me. And nine times out of ten, I can hear what I want to hear. But putting my headphones on, especially for these night maps, was, was so helpful. Because you can't see as much, you need to have all your other senses picking up everything for you. And because my headphones are fairly decent, I was able to pick out footsteps, and depending on which angle they were, I could flick around and kill somebody behind me. Or I could tell if there was a tank moving down the next street, so I wouldn't turn around the corner and look straight down the barrel of his cannon. If you're playing on these night maps, I highly recommend that you use like a pair of earphones. It doesn't really matter. As long as the sound is right near your ear and you're able to react to what's going on a little bit faster, you'll find it a much easier experience because playing in the dark, although it's very different, can be very difficult as well. Along with that comes vehicle gameplay, and that is much harder to do in the dark as well. Players can hide anywhere and everywhere, making it super risky driving through some of the more built-up areas on this map. 
I mean, Goldmud plays host to like a variety of ground vehicles, main battle tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, jeeps, and, and even quad bikes from Commander Drops. So you as an infantry player on the ground really do need to watch out. Although you might think that you have like a better chance of staying hidden due to it being nice and dark, uh, that isn't really the case. Your soldier stands out from the background like a sore thumb because all the light hits the player rather than hitting the ground, so it sort of glows like this white, silver, glistening player in the distance. Especially when you're running across fields, that makes you really exposed. Now, unless you want to spend the whole round prone on the floor, crawling your way to victory, you, you really do have to take a vehicle to get everywhere on these night maps, unless you're just going to like 20 or 30 metres to get to an objective, because you're so exposed on Goldmud. It's such a massive open map anyway, you really do need to use those vehicles to get yourself quickly to the next built-up area so you can sort of hide in the corner again. All of these things that I've been talking about pretty much surmise that the gameplay is ridiculously different on this map now, and I would, I would argue it's even more fun than the standard version of Goldmud Railway. Dice and I have done a really, really good job in making this map, even in its alpha stage, look like a map that they could put into the vanilla version, and still be a really good fun map to play. Obviously there's a few graphical glitches in there, some things just really aren't complete yet, but please don't take those as going to be in the final version. This map has only been out for a couple of days in the CTE. It's going to be nowhere near finished yet, and I'm sure there'll be a lot more tweaks coming in the future. Along with Goldmud Railway, Zavod 311 has been transformed into darkness as well, and I'll be showing that off in a video some point later this week, but I wanted to focus on Golma because, well, I've done a video on Zavod before, it was our own version, it wasn't like DICE doing all the changes, we as like third parties ended up doing that ourselves, but I just thought I'd showcase Golma because it's not something that you guys have seen before. Just one more thing before I end the video today, on the screen right now is a thumbnail of a War Thunder video that I posted on Tuesday this week, but unfortunately the time I chose to post it, the YouTube sub box and delivery system had decided to poop its pants and, and wasn't working properly at all. I mean the video took like an hour and a half to process and then an hour and a half to release, so I knew there was something wrong, but if you want to go and watch the video, there's a link in the description and, well, the thumbnail's on the screen so you'll know what it's about, but I'm going to be doing a few more of these videos in the future, so if you like what you see, make sure you hit that video with a like too. That would be really great. But anyway, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could leave me a rating and a comment, that would be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to head over to g2a.com slash r slash westy for great deals on great games. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.